Hey friends, Wickedy here. In this video, we will be going over everything that you need to know about the new Desert Trader in Stardew Valley released with a 1.4 update. First up, in order to have access to this new trader, you of course need to find your way to the desert by first unlocking the bus, either through the vault bundle in the community center or going the Joja way for 40,000 gold. The desert trader sells some pretty rare items, but not for money like any other vendor in the game. No, she's here for the goods and boy oh boy, some of these prices are pretty steep. Some of what she has to trade is available all the time. Some of them changes based on what day it is. And one item for trade is only available under special circumstances. The trader is open every day, apart from when she is at the beach in Pelican Town during the night market, which is the 15th through 17th in winter. Her permanent stock is mostly things that can be useful to the Skull Cavern Spelunker and Treasure Hunter out there. Her permanent items are artifact troves, warp totems to the desert, triple shot espresso, spicy eel, mega bombs, regular bombs, a butterfly hutch, and a green turban. She also sells the recipe for the desert totem, which can only be bought and learned once but she'll keep it in stock until you buy it. Now for the dailies. On Monday, you can pick up some hay. Tuesdays, she offers fiber. So rare, so valuable. <laughs> On Wednesdays, we wear pink and you can pick up a bolt of cloth. Thursday, oh boy. On Thursday, you can get a tasty magic rock candy. On Friday, there's cheese on the menu. Saturday is just a little different with four items, and those are each of the seasonal seeds. And on Sunday, she trades for staircases, which can be really helpful if you're going to be heading into Skull Cavern. On alternating days, she has some exclusive clothing. On even days, there is the magic turban, and on odd days, there is the magic cowboy hat. And the specialty item, under special circumstances, which is my favorite, if you are not married and have max friendship with Krobus, the Void Ghost Pendant will be available any day. Now for the real question. Are these worth it? By the time you hit the desert, you probably are already well into the game, and some of these might not hold much value or little value at all based on what it takes to trade. Take hay for example, it takes one Omni Geode to get three hay. You can get your own hay from grass with a scythe or even buy it from Marnie. To me, this isn't worth it at all because I have hay in abundance and Omni Geodes can be opened for gems worth much more. Five stone can be traded for one fiber. It's actually not too bad of a deal. I find myself running out of fiber often in the late game and I usually have a ton of stone when I'm not making staircases. Five Omni Geodes for an Artifact Trove. Great for helping you get the last few artifacts you might need for the museum. Otherwise, I would just farm them in the new cavern from the Haunted Skulls. Three Omni Geodes for a Desert Warp Totem. Now that's where I see some value. It is so worth it to me, so you can get a huge head start in Skull Cavern if you don't happen to have an obelisk. One diamond will give you a triple shot espresso. <laughs> yeah, no, I do love my coffee, but this is so not worth it to me. You could buy the recipe for 5,000 gold from Gus in the saloon and make it with three coffees easily. The espresso is a great item to have, don't get me wrong, but I'll keep my diamonds for something else. Thank you very much. A uh, ruby for a spicy eel. Yeah, I can see some value in that. It is a useful food item to have. Five Iridium for a Mega Bomb? Mm, maybe. It really just depends on how much you need the bombs or the ore. Five Quartz for a regular bomb? Maybe, and also no. I find that Quartz can be hard to find when I need it, and I keep my Crystallariums for more expensive gems like diamonds. Ten, yes, that's right, ten Iridium bars for the recipe for the Warp Totem. 
I have an abundance of iridium myself, so it's not a huge cost to me, but that's about 10,000 gold for that recipe. I love being able to make the totem so I see value in it, but it's a pretty steep price. 200 bat wings for a butterfly hutch. This is a new item that I absolutely love. When it's placed in your house, you'll have floating butterflies all around, so it's a must for me. Plus, I don't really have much use for bat wings after making a ton of lightning rods anyways. 50 Omni Geodes for a green turban. The worth of this is subjective as it's purely cosmetic. If you like the look, it's worth it. I want it because I have a need to own everything. A bolt of cloth is available for 3 aquamarine. Ace prize, cloth is worth uh, 470 gold and aquamarine is 180 each, so cloth is worth less gold. But if you keep running out of cloth making outfits with the new tailoring system, it might be worth it. Prismatic shards are hard enough to find as it is, but if for some reason you just have a ton lying around, don't know why you would, you can trade three for a magic rock candy. This is by far one of the best items in the game. The stats it gives you are crazy good and you'll be brimming with more energy than a room full of preschoolers. Is it worth it? Gold wise, you'll lose a thousand gold in value, but using this on a lucky day in Skull Caverns? I can only imagine what goodies you'll get. One emerald for one cheese. I make so much cheese that this doesn't really appeal to me, but maybe you don't keep cows. The trading for the seasonal seeds are kind of interesting. For two of one season, you get one of the prior season. I don't do much with the seasonal seeds past year one, so I'm gonna pass on this one. For one jade, you get one staircase. Yes, I approve of this trade. Jade can be found often while you're spelunking, and if my inventory is full, I usually just throw it away anyways. And you can duplicate them in the crystallarium. Staircases are a valuable asset in Skull Cavern, so this is a good trade to me. And for 333 Omni Geodes, you can trade for one of the alternating cosmetic hats. Again, the value of these is dependent on how you like to look, if it's worth it to you personally. I'll, I'll take it anyways. The last trade is only available after you reach max hearts with Krobus and you're unmarried. 200 Void Essences for a Void Ghost Pendant. Is it worth it? 1000% yes. Having Krobus as a roommate has brought me so much joy, more than I can even express. It's worth more than all the others to me. Or at least tied with the rock candy. No, it's worth more. Well, what do you all think? Do you agree with me? Or is your opinion different? Are these trades worth it to you? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're new here, be sure to check out my other Stardew guides and whatnot. I'm Wickedy. Thanks for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!